Hey what's going on guys, today I'm gonna talk about the coming soon or the maintenance page. If you just launch your website and you don't ready your website content, then you can make a coming soon page until your website is fully ready. Or if you have an existing website and you want to make a few changes for maintenance, then you can also turn on the maintenance mode and work on your website. Hi I'm Jiturayan. In this tutorial I'm gonna show you how to make a coming soon or a maintenance page and how you can handle that on your website. And the good news is if you are already using the Elementor plugin that provides this feature out of the box. Even they provide some teammate templates for the coming soon or the maintenance pages. We are gonna use the Elementor free version in this tutorial. You don't have to have the pro version of it so don't worry about that. I give both the free and pro versions link in my description. You can go through my link and install that on your website. So after installing Elementor, you can see this Elementor menu in the sidebar or your WordPress dashboard. From here, go to the Tools option and then go to the Maintenance mode right here. So first of all, there is the option for choosing the mode. You can either choose the Coming Soon or the Maintenance mode. These two modes are basically gives the search engine different instructions but there are no visual differences that your user can see. So in this case I want to choose the coming soon mode and then after this is the option of who can access your website when you turn on your maintenance mode. Right now it's for the logged in users which means when you add a coming soon page for your website your visitors can see this coming soon page but when you logged in from your WordPress you can still access your website as before. So here is also the option for customizing this access. If you want you can also set this access specifically according to the user roles. If your website maintained by multiple users you can specifically set it from here. Okay right now I want to make it to default. So after that this is the most important options which is choosing the template for your coming soon page. Right now here the template are shown which I made before but at this moment I want to create a template for my coming soon page. So I want to make save changes by clicking this button. Then before choosing a template first of all I want to create a template. So to create a template I go to this template options and to create a new template I click on this add new button. And from here select the template type to page and I want to name this template coming soon template. Then I create this template. Okay this is my template for my coming soon page. First of all I don't want any header or footer for my coming soon template so I directly go to my page settings from this icon right here and from here I select this page layout to Elementor canvas. Right now you can see my header and footer is no more shown for this template. Here only the place for adding content from Elementor. You can start it from scratch but right now I want to add a template from Elementor. So I click this add template button. Here you can see a lot of pre-built template which is built by Elementor which you can add on your pages or templates like this. But right now I want a coming soon template so I search for coming soon. Okay these all are the coming soon templates. You can see here are different kind of coming soon templates. Some of these have countdown like this and these also have the email capture form. But these are basically available in pro version. You can see the badges pro right here but don't worry we are gonna using a free template in this case. I want to insert this template. Alright, you can see this coming soon page looks awesome. You can change each and everything, its content, every design, the background images, each and everything from here. I have another tutorial where I show you how to create and customize and design your content in Elementor. You can check this. But right now I want to publish this template so I click on this publish button. And I want to go back to my dashboard so I click on this hamburger icon and click the exit to dashboard. Okay we again go to the Elementor tools options and go to the maintenance mode and right now you can see in the drop down option here is my coming soon template also appears as an options. So I select this and save changes. Okay 
right now you can see this maintenance mode on text on your admin bar this is very useful because there are no chance of accidentally turn on your maintenance mode because this is always on your eyes when you logged into your website right now if we go to view our website from here we can't see our coming soon page basically this is our home page and if we go to our contact page this is also going to our contact page and we can't see our coming soon page so why this happens because we are logged into our website so if we logged out from our website and go to my home page you can see the coming soon page basically when a user comes to your website during a coming soon or a maintenance mode they can see a pages like this even they try to go to another pages of your website like the contact page if i try to go to my contact page you see this is also not going to work this also redirect to our coming soon page so you can see our coming soon page works in the proper way what some people do they create a coming soon page and set that as a home page and visitors can still access their other pages which you don't want on your maintenance mode so right now we go back to our dashboard so we have to log in again okay now the website is on maintenance mode and when your website is ready you can change the mode from here you can select the mode as disabled and save changes all right so right now your visitors can also access to your website because you turned off the maintenance mode it's that simple and if you have elementor this is already a built-in option in there here you don't have to buy anything obviously there are other tools or plugins you can use but they don't have the full control on your design and there are other paid options available for you which you can also use but why would you pay for something which you don't gonna use that much for your website you can do it for free just with elementor if you have to pay for something i recommend you to spend it on elementor pro which has the awesome features like adding a countdown a mail capture form or other amazing elements which you can add on your coming soon page or any place on your entire website if we are going to their pricing you can see they have different pricing plans but you have to spend only 49 dollars for one website which is pretty cool so i give the link in the description you can check this below or if you want to use the free version that's also fantastic okay that's it for today if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so when i upload a new elementor or wordpress related video you can get notified thank you so much guys i'll see you in the next one